Hey, hello everyone, I'm Matt Tep and welcome back to Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Last time we uh, we got attacked by Shriek and uh, Ku... Uh, okay, hold on, let me just pause so I can recap. Ku died. I, at least I'm pretty sure Ku died. Um, and then we got an epic quest to get a bunch of Wisps in order to restore the... Uh, whatever this place is, uh, it's tree which I think is behind that mist. I don't know, probably. Um, and so we decided to go to the Windsup Waste because there's one over here, uh, which actually translates to up here, which is a little weird. Maybe we go down. Um, but yeah, and then uh, I got a, a pretty cool ability to uh, burrow through sand. <laughs> So, can I actually attack you? Oh, I can attack him. Well, that's so cool. I like that. Okay, nice. And uh, one thing I want to also say before we press on is uh, it has been raining pretty heavily outside. This is the same recording session, but the rain got heavier in between recordings. And I noticed I was even able to pick up on the mic. So, uh, apologies if you hear rain in the background. I mean, rain is pretty soothing. I'm personally a big fan of rain myself, but... Uh, you know, just to let you know, I feel obligated to inform you. Oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> Get old nerd. Oh, but there's also enemies in the sand. Okay, so I gotta be wary of them. The sandworms. Okay. Uh, what happens if I go this way? Oh. Man, they're so good at killing themselves. <laughs> it's it's kind of it's quite amusing. Uh, okay, so this brings me back down to here. I guess I could check right there. Seems to be a spot, right? Uh, where would you be? More like here? Oh no! Okay, up above. All right, I'm just exploring. Yeah, the. Uh, one other thing is that after we, or with, like, the whole Wisp thing and everything, like, try, having to get, like, the the four Wisp spirits, the game seemed to really, really open up, so. Um. Where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, there's a spot up there, okay. Uh, oh, I am back here? There are so many closer spots it could have put me at, but okay. I guess I'll take this spot <laughs> before these sandworms, but okay, sure. Excuse me, sandworms. They just didn't even know I was here, apparently. Um, oh, yeah, and actually, uh, we can do this to jump out, which is very nice. Uh, kind of curious what's over here. Unless, is there something interesting up? Oh, okay, story stuff. But, oh, it's talk. I talk. Let's talk to talk. This is the place. Here's where the Gorlack of old built their wonders. Towering spires, swooping arches. All gone to dust and ruins now. All the great orc Gorlack cower beneath the sands. <laughs> Truth be told, I came out here hoping to find something worth scavenging. What I found was sand. A lot of sand. I don't like sand. You seem the digging type. Maybe you'll have better luck. Okay. Ooh, explore the windsub waste near the shovel. I remember where the shovel is, kind of. I remember seeing one. Um, okay, can I, I cannot look down directly, but I can just hop down. And uh, let's just get this. Make sure we unlock this one. And nice, okay. I don't think there's any other thing around here, so, okay. Um, I might not do the whole shovel thing yet because that's like all the way back around here somewhere. Um, I think right here actually, but I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna go up through over here for now. And keep exploring. Ow, ow, wow, okay, just took a ton of damage there that I could have easily avoided if the game had auto-targeted properly. But okay, I see how it is. Oh, there's a keystone down there. Ow, I just stood there and tanked it. Okay, 
Come on. There you go. Uh, now, I can't really do much about you, because you got a shield. Uh, oh gosh, okay. Nice. Uh, that was a little risky, I'll admit, but it's not too bad. Okay, then we run across here. Uh, bro, ow. Oh, nope, I didn't take damage. I thought I took damage, but I did not take damage. I just bonked. Um, actually, what's over this way? Ooh. Uh, I think this is where we want to go, actually. Yeah, because there's the keystones. I only got one keystone. I have to go over yonder to get it. Uh, I could have... What am I doing? I'm pressing... Just kill me. I'm, I'm terrible with the video game. <laughs> oh, it brought me back up here. Oh, man. That's not where I wanted. Ooh. Yeah, grab up the... No, grab... <laughs> Why is this game so bad? Okay, apparently it just won't let me burrow there. I don't know why. It's just being a complete jerk to me. And I'm really mad about it. Also, this game's not bad. I just, I'm, I just get so mad, you know? I think one thing that is starting to become a bit of a problem, though, is the fact that there is so many buttons. Or, like, so many, like, and it was kind of a problem with the first game, too, where, like, everything has more than one, or every button has more than one use. And so it becomes just, like, so overwhelming. And sometimes, like, I do things that I don't want to do in the game. Or, like, it won't do the thing I want it to do. Um, which is just kind of unfortunate. And, I mean, if I was playing on, like, keyboard, maybe it wouldn't be a problem. But I'm pressing to roll back. Why is it not doing it? No. <laughs> that time, I think it was just the game being or acting up for some reason but um okay i can't get that energy cell uh oh okay you chase after me how am i supposed to drag it all the way over to there that's what i want to know okay yes come on dispense another one I, that one, if I kind of understood it, I kind of just guessed as well, though. Uh-oh. This guy is annoying. He's just hopping around all over the place. There we go. Jeez. He's going crazy. Ow. Okay, I guess I'll heal. Man, it kind of uh, uh, upsets me that the spikes deal 30 points of damage in this area. Okay, that's like a lot of damage. Ow. Oh, that's not... I thought that was a pit there. Okay, that is not a pit. Okay, and he can just hit me anyways. Okay, there's literally... Okay, I'm... <laughs> Where am I now? Oh, I have to do... Dude, okay, this is already getting frustrating. It puts me so far back with every checkpoint. That's why ha being able to make my own checkpoint is such a nice feature. I don't know why they removed it. There's so many mean checkpoints in this game. But now I have to do this whole segment where I lure this thing and then like, I get over to here. Oh, it decided to just shoot over there, I guess. I don't understand this homing missile mechanic. Ow, I just ran into that one. That was my fault. Like, do I have to not cross in front of it? Because that's, like, impossible. <laughs> I feel like. Like, jeez, that's... That, that feels so weird. I'm gonna have to lure you over to here. Okay, and then I just gotta focus on those guys. Ooh, okay. And then go over here. Get some money, I guess. 
Ow, that bonked me into the spikes. I blame the game on that one. <laughs> it's just me blaming the game a lot, honestly. <laughs> this is just what the episode has become. Um, so I need the, I need that thing to go over there, which I have no clue how I'm supposed to do that, but let's try it, I guess. Oh, nice. You, you bonked the spike, sir. Oh. Ouch. Okay, so that guy is pretty good at homing outside of the... the... the, the sand. Whew. Um, hello? Why did it not follow me? It just decided, yeah, you, you're not worth following all the way up there, I guess. Ow, okay. <laughs> And then I have to get her to actually make it work. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, game. Uh, shouldn't that immediately fill up with sand? I don't know if it is or not, but... Okay. Let's heal up again. I think I just need to calm down. It's just... There's just a lot of stuff being thrown at me, and it's... Uh... Can get a little frustrating. Uh-oh. Oh! Wow, I'm actually surprised I dodged that <laughs> Okay. How did I not dodge that one, though? Okay, fine, whatever. I can dash just a m throughout the sand, but... Okay, life's collect one more to increase your max life. Okay. And then I'm assuming I'm gonna need it to go through here or something. Ow, okay, dash through. There we go. Okay, this... This is complex, but okay. Ugh. How am I supposed to time it? Ah, oh, gosh, get me out of here. Am I just run away from you? <laughs> oh, this is actually a, a scary situation. Okay. Uh, let me heal up. Okay, new rule for this playthrough. If I'm ever like, oh, how am I supposed to do it? It's not my fault. It's it's probably my fault. Just assume it's my fault and uh, I, that I'm bad at the video game. Because uh, that's probably what it is. Um, oh, geez. This is so hard because you're constantly moving. Oh, okay. At least this is not a terrible spawn point. Yeah, just jump over here. Be an idiot. There you go, thank you. And it heals one point. Ooh. I dodged it, apparently? Oh, okay, so these are little alcoves where I can hide in. That's nice. Thank you, game. Oh. I'm gonna have to lead this thing somewhere. Probably. All right, let me figure out where I'm supposed to lead it first, though. Gosh, it's so hard. The, I really wish this thing was turning the opposite way. It's so obnoxious the way it's turning right now. Especially because, like, this area, like, it's so hard to just not get hit in. And then I end up just running through it all. Okay. Ooh. Stay back! Stay back, monsters! <laughs> Go down! Okay. I'm so glad there's at least a heal ability in this game. This heal ability has, like, saved me so many times. <laughs> Oh, speaking of healing. Uh, okay. And saving. Okay, I don't think there's anything that way. What's the map looking like here? Okay, we're getting close. Uh, inching ever so closer. I pressed the wrong button. Crap, okay. Owie. Let me, ow, can I? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I need to go down. Thank you. <laughs> 
Uh. <laughs> I messed that up. Okay. Let's just kill these guys. They are bugging the ever-living crap out of me. Man, these Gorlick are so tall, man. It's so hard to get around them. Eh. Okay, dash over there, and then press this button to do that. And then hope you can make it across. Okay, it kind of was a little bit mean, but I'll take it. Uh, can I see? Thank you. Uh, oh, where am I supposed to take the missile from this? Okay, well, it didn't follow me, so that's unfortunate. Do I have to get it to pop out and then I bash off of it to get up to the thing up there? That seems ludicrous to me. Like, what the heck, man? Okay, and when I tried to dash out, it just didn't work very really well. Um, maybe I could just do it without the thingy? Ugh. Nope. I gotta remember that this is my little glide button. Actually, let me try it with the glide. Whoops, I, I was pressing the glide button without actually doing the dash out of sand button. Okay, I cannot do the dash properly there. Um, okay, so this is... Oh, this is a really hard part of the game. Why did it go out like that? There you go. And then bop. And there we go, let me do that. Gosh, holy crap, man. That is, that is so stressful. <laughs> but hey, we got another seed. Look at that, yay. And, oh gosh. Man, and this is required, by the way. Unless I'm supposed to get something that allows me to fly without needing to do all this, like, super intense platforming. Like, this feels really difficult, man. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Uh, I want to go this way so I can dash up. Grab this ore. Oh, gosh, okay. Man, okay. Going up there is fine, but <laughs> now it gives me the core like it makes sense. I, I just now landed on a flat surface, but kind of funny to me. Okay, Whew. I I do bet because so the thing is that and yet here here's me ranting again. The thing is that this game is now like fully open, you know, like it is. I don't even know if it's necessarily even a Metroidvania. It's just kind of like an open world game at this point, right? Because it's like, you can have these four spots you can go to. You can do them in, I think, any order? Pro I would hope so. That'd be a lot, like a much cooler way of doing it. But um, So there's probably somewhere where you can get some sort of like thing to give you a boost of air without having to do that. Because that, if you like are supposed to always do that, that seems kind of insane to me. Because <laughs> that was a, like getting the thing to jump out and then bashing off of it and then doing a like burrow dash through that the little rock thing that just is so crazy to me <laughs> um but okay we got the uh, temple here the way will not open until the heart knows that it is safe four wisps must gather for the gate to unlock really are you serious what the heck man what the actual heck what are you serious i have to do all of those other things before i could get to this one okay whatever you say man i just spent so much time and it's all for naught apparently okay so even though the game literally pointed me to this one because for reference, and in fact, Ed or me, maybe just show it up so that it's a little bit easier for the viewer to see. We were pointed to go into the Silent Woods. We were past Qualon. 
and it just says no you actually have to go to any one of these other spots first like come on dude <laughs> like really how am i supposed to know which one i'm supposed to go to first then is, is there okay is there like a, a thing in the side quest to tell me which one i'm supposed to go to first um these are all the different things yes Okay, I think I'm supposed to go to the all any of the other three first, and then we go to this one. Okay, sure. I just have to conveniently do that insane jump again. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um. First off, though, I'm going to do that little side quest with talk for the shovel thing. Um. And yeah, I, can, I actually just now remembered I can warp from anywhere, so that's nice. But okay, where is the shovel at? Uh, haha, the shovel! Yes! Ooh, an eerie gem! Nice. Okay, and then I just ex exploded out of that. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, and then let's warp over to here so that we can give Tok his little diamond, I guess. Hopefully, it gives us something useful. I don't know. I guess the Psychos haven't been very, like, rewarding, have they? They're just kind of, like, good boy points, I guess. What's that? A gem? Looks a little... looks a bit rough around the edges, huh? If I were you, I'd show it to an expert and make sure it's safe. Squawk! Why does he squawk at me? That's so weird. Um... Take the eerie gem to a specialist. Uh, maybe Twillin? I mean, Twilight does stuff with shards. It's worth trying, I guess. Okay, let's warp over to here. Um, this is also just a good opportunity to do more stuff with the Wellspring Blades. I can finally get rid of the stupid uh, thorns that are around here. Let's talk to Grom. Uh, okay, you say you've been to my homeland, or what's left of it. The Windswept Waste, they call it, eh? I suppose they've forgotten its true name if they ever knew it in the first place. Garora is what it's called. A wondrous city of proud stone and painted glass, a colossal arches and lofty spires. It deserves to be remembered. Okay, anyways. <laughs> cool, dude. Moving on. Uh, let's get uh, take care of the thorny situation. I wonder how this one's gonna look. He's like, ow. Time to chop it down with my pickaxe. Because <laughs> that's how that works. No more thorns. These guides are getting nicer every day. Okay, and I don't have enough for another, unfortunately. Uh, and before we go to Twillin, let me actually plant the one C with the... What's his name? The dude kind of reminds me of Pooh Bear. Um, or like Winnie the Pooh, but... Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, you. Thule, that's your name. This branch must take it far away from here. Oh, he's talking about the poison branch we got in, I think, the last episode? Can't you see? It's more stone than wood. It belonged to a... Er, the tree it belonged to is beyond hope. And it spreads quickly. I once burned half my flower bed to kill the creeping stone. Take it before the new life that here is corrupted too. Okay. So we gotta go back to that guy and be like, Hey, your tree's just kinda dead. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh, he's getting more time. Look. You have a dream of home. Sometimes I wake up thinking I never left. Cozy little hut it was. Shelves and cupboards just brimming with seeds for planting. I tried saving them all when the blizzard came. I hope it didn't leave any behind. Okay, anyways, cool story, dude. Uh, can we do this? I, I don't know what this is gonna do, but... Oh, is this gonna be, like, healing? The healing plants? Because it looked like the little, like... Healing thingies. I don't know how else to describe them. <laughs> uh, I was worried this garden would never compare to the one I left behind. But seeing your sailor flowers prosper here, I knew I was wrong. Okay, anyways, I'm cool. Bye. 
Okay, yeah, and the rumor about his hut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just ran over something that gave me points. Oh, and I could go down here. Oh, and there's water. Look at all this. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Can't dive too deep because uh, I only got so much air. But, interesting. And yeah, I, I kind of figured that swimming is going to be a thing in this game because it was in the last one. So, wait, where are the, the flowers that he's talking about? I randomly am getting, like, points, or like, the soul pointies or whatever. Is it those? Those are not what I expected them to be, but okay. Anyways, hi, Twillin. Oh, my, my, my. A rare shot. Or a raw shard, in fact. And in pristine condition. A rare find, oh yes. Those spirit shards I discover are already... Or, I think they missed the R already. Uh, but anyways. Already refined, dazzling, and beautiful. The artisans of old understood the craft better, you see. Still, I shall polish this as best I can. He, he takes his tunic and he just like runs it, you know, I get like that, like that rrr, 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 kind of sound and da ta da secret. Ooh, sense nearby secrets? That's a, uh, that's an interesting one <laughs> to say the least. Um, also, I just realized we can enter this house and I'm going to steal all the money here. Uh, don't mind me. Is there any, anything else I can steal from this humble home? Okay, it appears not. <laughs> and like, I can get up to here, but then I can't really go anywhere from here. Oh, hi, Moki. I wonder sometimes, once I went to the Luma Pools, it is very pretty. There is a big wheel past the wellspring with a nice view from the top. If you go west from the top of the wheel, you will reach the Luma Pools. Oh, okay. So I know that, or I believe that that is going to be important. Probably. I would imagine so. Yeah, I really wish that I could go up higher, but I just can't. You know, <laughs> like, I just can't get any higher. At least that I know of. I, I don't seem to be able to get any higher. Because I can't get up there. Hmm. I, I don't know, man. I really wish I could go up higher. Oh, wait, okay, actually, I have an idea. Because there's this thing here. If I, uh, whoops, wrong button. If I swap to this and go, whoo, oh yeah, look at that. Now I can glide up. I have, I use my ingenuity and previous experience. You see, that's good design. More monkey have come to the glades every day. That is why we asked Grom to help make the glades pretty. We, we would do it ourselves, but we are small and we would rather play. Okay, basically, because we are children, and we don't know what the heck we're doing, <laughs> is the answer. Oh, hey, money. Um, okay, so actually we get to explore a lot more here, I feel like, right? I mean, maybe not, but we'll have to see. I noticed that there is this over here. Uh, oh, okay, actually, I can land on here. I didn't, I <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Uh, hi, dude. Another movie. Oh, none may pass the great lookout. That is me. I stand watch for Shriek the Hunter. She wants to eat Moki and our marsh clam soup. It is delicious. You may pass, spirit. Okay, well, thank you. Oh, is this like their like little home area? You're lucky. Usually the soup line is very long. Sometimes it reaches all the way to Grom. But the soup is worth it. So warm, so creamy. Okay, I... Veril. Okay, we got a new NPC here. You brought me spicy herbs. Where did you find them? They only grow on dangerous outcrops and must be har harvested neath the full moon. And they're just what I need to make the perfect marsh clam soup. What a rare treat. Is this the finally the resolution to the hand-to-hand -hand side quest? Pog? <laughs> Sorry, that's a Twitch thing. Um, anyways. Spicy soup. Yeah. Okay, now we need to find someone in need of a warm meal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, who are you? 
Ah, oh, and you must be Ori. Welcome, welcome. What an honor and a spirit in my own kitchen. Oh dear, I apologize for the chill. Please help yourself to a warm spot by the fire. Me, I'm used to the cold. The decay froze over my old home in Bower's Reach a long time ago. Besides, these frozen waters are home to the tastiest fish. Once you can get beneath the ice, that is. Every visitor can count on some warmth and a full belly. That's the least I can do in these dark times. Okay, cool. Excuse me for dis disrupting your pine. Uh, anyways. Ooh. Wait, so where are we now? Okay, I, I like this secret chart thing, but... Um, Oh, I guess we're just in Bower's Reach all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, I thought that was going to be more up here, but I guess it's right here. Uh, I, I could... I seem to be able to technically go up, although I don't have the the height needed for that. Whew. Is this... Okay, I can't do anything with that. Um. Also, let me... While I'm <laughs> zipping to this guy, uh, let me actually get the shuriken. Night. There we go. Nice. Okay. Whew. This is cool. Both. Okay, that that's a pun. Yes. <laughs> I I regret to inform you all that it was in fact a pun that I totally intended to do. Um. Okay. And I I'm guessing we're gonna get some sort of like burrowing or some sort of like. Ice burrowing thing. Oh, maybe we can finally get the torch again. That'd be cool. Well, okay, for now, I don't... I, oh! I mean, I understand why that hurts me, but I'm upset that it does. <laughs> um, okay, so I think... Uh, there... I think this is a good place to end the episode, right? I mean, we, got, we realized that we were on the wrong track, and we kind of started getting onto the right track by going into... Um, exploring some of this area as well as just like I don't know figuring out other things I don't know where I was going with that thought but um, yeah I guess uh, ooh, okay where should we head to um, I guess we could go to Bowers Reach or should like or should we go to well okay I guess this is like the wealth spring I don't know what that one is but these ones don't seem to light up, and I don't know why. I guess I could try going to Bower's Reach. Um, so yeah, we're going we're going from desert to uh, cold <laughs> in the next episode. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you want to check out more of what I do, go follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube archive channel for the Twitch channel. Links in the description down below for all that stuff. And I will see you all in the next episode.